The things and the way that you're responding to situations have nothing to do with right now. They have everything to do with what happened to you. When you're a different person and you have wisdom and you know what to do, but because the past has such a hold, it is paralyzing you. We pray for people to change, but then we really don't believe that God's going to change them because we treat them like they were 10 years ago. Hi, family. Welcome to another devotional with truth and love. My name is Ludi. if it's your first time on the channel, and we're going to dive right in. Today, we are looking at Philippians 3, verse 13. And it says, brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead. In verse 14, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. And I'm sure you saw the title. Forget about it. That was my attempt at the Italian. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. Wait, is that New York? That's New York. That's not Italian. It's New York Italian. All of this is going on in the post. So what the Lord was telling me about this scripture is a lot of us are superimposing our past on our present because the things and the way that you're responding to situations have nothing to do with right now. They have everything to do with what happened to you. The way you respond to people, the way you steward your finances, the, word you, the way you steward your health, it has nothing to do with anything that has to happen now. It has things to do with what people said to you in high school or in college or mistakes that your parents made that you're so deathly afraid of making the same mistakes. When you're a different person and you have wisdom and you know what to do, but because the past has such a hold, it is paralyzing you. What the Lord is saying to you today is forget about it. And I don't mean get amnesia. I'm not telling you to go whack your head on something. <laughs> what I'm saying to you is separate your past from your present. Don't allow what happened to you back then to affect what is happening to you now. Don't allow the past to come into your present conversations. I'm speaking to some people who might be married right now and you're reminding your, your spouse of things that happened years ago. Forget about it. Give people the opportunity to change. We pray for people to change, but then we really don't believe that God's going to change them because we treat them like they were 10 years ago or even a month ago. People change. I can tell you that the person I was even last week, I am not today. So if you're coming to me with the perspective of me that you had last week, you might find a different Ludi and it might war against what your understanding is of me because I'm different. We are ever evolving. The Bible says line upon line, precept upon precept, glory to glory, strength to strength. So as much as we also want people to give us grace for who we used to be and who we are now, we also have to treat people the same way and expect good. Expect that they've changed. Expect that when you walk into the house, the dishes are going to be washed with joy. And if they're not, have faith for the next time. Don't just come with the unresolved issue. And this is something that the Lord showed me, uh, I would say about six months ago, is about holding grudges. And we don't even realize we're holding grudges. So when you come to the person, you already come with this heightened voice, these heightened emotions. It's because you never forgave what they did, and you're expecting that they didn't do it or they're doing it again. But you're not giving them new mercies. The Bible says his mercies are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. And the Lord was showing me, you also need to wake up with new mercy, Ludi. Some of you, it might be good for you to list out every night what you need to forgive your spouse about, your best friend about. Some of you, your dog keeps peeing on the floor. I know, seems petty. Forgive the dog about it because you wake up and you're, you haven't even looked at the floor. You're like, oh, I'm going to have to clean it up. How do you know? Maybe this time that the dog did not poop on the floor. But the point is be intentional with forgiving daily so that when you wake up, when you encounter that person, when you have the same conversation, you have new mercy because though you might be having the same conversation, maybe you weren't listening. Maybe you were just hearing them before. And this time, because you're not coming with your anger and your frustration, you actually come with listening ears and you're able to get information that you did not know before. So 
whether it hurt you, whether it was something that made you so happy and you're stuck on the good feeling and the good old days, forget about it. Ask the Lord, what are you doing today? And be in today. Be mindful of today, your today, and other people's today as well. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one.